Hi there folks, today I'm going to be uh, canning some jalapeno peppers. Um, I do a lot of canning, preserving, pickling um, throughout my garden. I get vegetables from that way. My uh, mother-in-law finds deals, I find deals from uh, various markets and stores. And uh, today we're going to do some jalapeno peppers and in a later, later video I'll be doing uh, mango jam and possibly do some dill pickle relish. Hope you enjoy. Here's my prep for today. I got my bowl of jalapenos along with my trusty cutting board that I've that's been through a lot with me. And I'm going to chop up these jalapenos in circles. I like to pickle them, have them for my burgers, hot dogs, um, pizzas. Oh, you name it. I like it pretty much on a lot of things. My brine consists of usually half water, half vinegar. Um, sugar and salt, I usually depends on what I feel like at the time, but it's usually about, depending on the size of the batch, today I'll probably go with three quarters of a cup of uh, sugar, a uh, teaspoon of salt, that's usually the norm for what I do, um, but I'll take you along this process as I go. I'm going to, I obviously can't hold the camera and chop at the same time, so I'm going to chop up these jalapenos and uh, get them into jars. I prefer to use mason jars but you can use pretty much any jar with a uh, suction lid. You get in the stores, cheese jars, pickle jars, all kinds of stuff like that. Me, myself, I prefer to use mason jars. They process a lot easier and the lids go down a lot better and just makes for better pre preservation. So my first step is obvi obviously wash up my jars, my lids, get them all ready. I like to put them in my nice big canning pot, hot water, let them boil for a little bit. This just sterilizes the jars, gets them ready for me so there's no bacteria, anything like that going into my canning or my foods, that kind of thing. As soon as I get this done, I'll be on to the next step of chopping up my jalapenos. And yes, if you noticed, I have decided to use a couple different kinds of jars, not just mason jars. I'm using mason jars, I'm using a spaghetti jar and uh, a couple Tostito jars. Just kind of want to show that you can use multiple multiple different kinds of jars, not just mason or crown jars or anything like that. You can use jars from the store. And even though I prefer mason jars, I will use the other jars. Um, so like if I'm giving it for myself, or using it for myself, or using it for friends. If I'm selling my canning goods, I would never ever put them in. Use jars like like the Tostito jars or the spaghetti jars, it'd all be in mason jars. But yeah, just wanted to show you that there's multiple ways, multiple jars you could use. Alright, now that I'm done uh, chopping up my jalapenos, you can see them all here in a nice bowl. I've also uh, taken out my jars. They're done sterilizing. Uh, they were done a while ago actually. And now, come over I'm making my brine here. Like I said, it's half vinegar, half water. This here that I'm doing today is two cups vinegar, two cups water. Um, I've also added about three quarters of a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Like I said, that's up to you how much you may or may not want in there. If you like sweetness or if you like bitterness, that's up to you. From there, I went. I've already prepped this first jar. It was quite quite warm when I did it. That's how I prefer it. I've taken a lot of jalapenos out of the bowl, just crammed them, packed in there as tight as you can. And as soon as the brine is done, I will dump the brine in there. I'll probably get it to about the first little bit over the first rung. I'll have to bang it a little bit, make sure all the bubbles come up because the air bubbles will get trapped in there. And then I'll add a little bit more to make sure that's. You want the brine or solution however you want to I know it as brine 
you want it pretty much at the first rung when you're all said and done that way it's over top of the jalapenos it's all covered it's all getting pickled and then from there I will have a pot of water on this burner in which I will boil my lids if you're processing boiling the lids you'll you only need to bring it to a rolling boil and then you can take the lids out put them on your jars and then put them in the processor if you're not processing then you should boil your lids for at least five minutes before you throw them on the jars that way they are uh, properly done and uh, I'm gonna do that right now and I'll show you the end result One thing I'd like to add um, just some of the tools that I like to use I uh, bought this ladle it's perfect for uh, pickling canning um, doing everything that I like to do uh, as far as preparation it, it's really the perfect ladle especially for doing relishes because it has these holes at the back end of it that allow you to drain some juice out uh, I paid I think it was like 15 bucks from Epicure for that one and then I went to a Bernardin seminar and picked up one of their kits I like a f few things about it this helps you uh, this is a magnet helps you get your lids out of your boiling water this of course is a funnel stick it over your jars pour your brine whatever you, or even if you're doing jams or whatever it helps you so you don't make any mess or spill and this is the only thing that I didn't wasn't really fond of as you can see up here there was supposed to be plastic there was plastic pieces up there they it was broke so it was pretty cheap plastic if they would have put some rubber maybe uh, yeah I covered this with rubber it would have been a lot better it's for pulling your jars out of the pot when you're done um, one thing I also got to mention um, I was going to do a jar of these uh, Tostitos but I realized once I uh, put all the jalapenos in the jars I really after doing this big jar and these jars I didn't have enough to fill one of those up so I just went ahead and filled a smaller mason jar that I already had uh, ready to go and washed up and sterilized for the j mango jam that I'm going to be making later today um, one thing I also, one tip, I just, when you're pickling or doing jalapenos, cutting them out, you have to constantly wash your hands. And even that sometimes ain't good enough. You, you're handling hot, spicy food, like jalapenos, you go to rub your uh, eyes, your eyes are going to be burning for hours. You go to, as a guy, I, sorry for being crude, but you go to the washroom, you're holding it, it could burn down there for hours too. So just a thought when you're handling jalapenos, keep your hands washed constantly. Now over here I want to show you my brine. It's boiling. I'm going to be pouring it into these jars, getting them filled up. And then as soon as these uh, lids are done, I'll be putting them on. Um, putting them on the jars and then I will be putting them in my big pot. Uh, for processing they'll be going in there for approximately 10 to 15 minutes just so it seals them up properly and no bacteria or any kind of gross bad stuff can get into them and uh, after I'm done this step I'll show you what they are what they are like after they're processed uh, after they're done processed just wanted to add about the brine People might have questions, how long do I let the brine boil for? Me, I let it just get to a rolling boil, and that's good enough. You don't need to cook it for minutes or anything like that. Just good, quick rolling boil. Same with the lids, get them to a rolling boil. Then pop them on. And a lot of people make the have the misconception that you have to really tighten the rings on there. You don't. If you're processing, you don't have to tighten these at all. Just get them to the first little, little bit of tension there, and that's good enough. And same with uh, these kind of lids. Just get them on there, good enough. And now they're ready to get into the the nice boiling water. 
it's not quite fully boiled yet had to drain it out after getting it to after sterilization put different water in there but still it'll be uh, I'll just leave it in there for an extra few minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes max just because uh, pepper is a little bit more acidity the more acidity your more acid or acidic your foods are the longer you want to process them for for sure um, tomatoes peppers stuff like that you definitely want them to process for at least 15 20 minutes uh, anything like fruits and stuff like that five to ten minutes is usually good enough eggs uh, a lot of people I pr a lot of people don't process them I process them uh, I usually process them for like five ten minutes a little bit longer if I'm doing my personal eggs because I like to throw jalapenos in there with them spice them up a bit uh, so yeah as soon as uh, this is done processing I'll pull them out um, let you see what it looks like not much different than what it what you just saw but they said it'll be a finished product here's the finished product some uh, yummy goodness and some jalapenos after 25 minutes of processing had to wait because needed the water to boil um, everything's all complete every uh, jar is lid down lid is down except for this one it will go down soon um, they usually tend to take a little bit longer but I'll uh, let these cure overnight before uh, they're ready to be eaten with jalapenos you can let them cure overnight and they're ready to go the next day other things like pickled eggs pickled meat you should let them go at least a week sometimes longer to get full flavor and maximum potential out of them but yeah there you go finished product good stuff just like he'd get in the stores but done a hell of, hell of a lot cheaper and will last you a lot longer I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.